Good day. I've had some requests on from beginners and we often forget that we were beginners and from my point of view I was a beginner just a little over a year ago and people really don't talk to beginners much a lot of the stuff we get is if you it's a tutorial on how to do it because you already know how to do it okay now what I want to talk about today is how to hook up the fat shark style video 5.8 video transmitter to directly to a hero camera a GoPro camera hero 2 or 3 okay for instance right here okay and the question specifically is on how to hook it to one of these new simple to use about anybody can fly it quads uh, there's three of them out right now. This is uh, this is my Phantom. And how do you connect this? Well, it's really pretty simple. And I'm going to give you two different versions on how to do it. Okay. Basically, the first thing you really need to do is get some kind of a vibration dampener. And uh, some of the the new quads are coming out with them, which makes sense because if you connect the camera directly to the quad itself you're going to end up with jello and you don't want to watch jello okay you, you just can't stand to watch very long this one i found on ebay uh, it also has the mount for the transmitter right on it and i'm just using velcro for that you see i have velcro several places on this quad okay let's talk about how to hook this up you're going to order uh, either this is my actual fat shark transmitter that I got with my goggles and this is one right here from Re ready-made RC okay and you're gonna need to get some kind of a uh, circular polarized antenna and then you're also gonna you either need to like bend it here because it's going to need to be facing down and I saw where it's been a little stress on this particular antenna so I put some hot glue around it to support it or you can go with a right angle adapter uh, they're handy they add a little bit more weight and I've had some unfortunate experiences with them you gotta make sure you get the right one an SMA Sam Mary Alpha if you don't they won't work and make sure it's tight now you're not supposed to tighten them down with a pair of pliers but you can snug them down real easy with some you don't want them coming loose in flight and you don't want them falling off okay I put a little velcro on them right here got some right here notice there's just a little bit difference in the two and these both the same though okay now there's two different ways to hook them up you can get from ready-made RC you can get several adapters and you want to make sure you get the right thing for that okay uh, for instance uh, this is the newest one I have right here to plug in to the Hero 2 camera and it goes in right here like this of course the sound comes out of the camera that will plug right into here okay so this is how hard it is you get your camera you get your video transmitter you plug this into it plug it into the camera right there then you need a power source now the fat shark didn't come with any end on it so I had to solder um, a JST plug to it okay now there's two ways you can go here you can run the transmitter with a separate source battery source like that okay or you can run it right straight off of your battery 
Let's show you how to do that. I had to get um, a balance port female plug and some JST plugs. Okay, it's actually soldered together in the middle right here, and I'm not. I'm going to do a video on how to do that too. Now the way I got the JST or the uh, the balance port plugs is I bought a, a set. It's a, a way to balance charge six um, batteries at the same time, and I just bought this so I could get six of these and just cut those off right there and that's it. So I'll go into that later. Okay, so let's say that we have it hooked up like this instead and we have our flight battery. I just grabbed this one right here because it was handy and I plug it into it. You plug this in. I mean this is obviously not big enough for the flight battery but it is a three cell battery and you plug that into your um, play in your battery in your plane and that's really all you need right there okay so you can either use the power source from the plane or you can use the power source from a separate battery now let's say you have the um, you don't have the hero 2 you got the hero 3 Let's just set it aside. Okay. Now we're going to go. Here's the other one. It's already set up for that. Now I got this from Ready Made RC. And there's their power cord already comes with a JST plug on it. So we can either hook it to the battery or we can connect it with our made up power source here to go to the flight battery. Okay. And then. You just buy the right adapter plug right here. Just plugs right in there like that. To go to your Hero 3. And that plugs in like that. Now I did learn something, guys. If you leave this plugged in, it will drain the battery. So don't leave it plugged in very long. I mean, like, you can leave it plugged in during the day or when you're flying. But I left it plugged in overnight and it, and it killed the battery. I think the reason for that is it thinks it's being charged right now. And, and that's what I'm going to go into here. Um, with the, the Hero 2 setup, you cannot charge the camera. Okay? Not that I know of. Might be able to, but I don't think so. Um, but this one, the red plug right here, is a 5 volt source. You feed in 12 volts to here, but from this red plug right here, red wire, is a 5 volt source to plug into your camera. Make sure you test that with a multimeter just to make sure you're getting 5 volts out of that when you plug it in to your battery. Okay. You run 12 volts into this camera, you're going to fry it just real quick. And it's just toast. Not very good. It's $400 doorstop. Okay. So, let's see how simple this is to connect. Really tough deal. I'm going to connect this one to this one because it's the way I've got it set up. Maybe not. Let's go to this one, right here. We've got the camera on here already. We set that on there like that. We plug the that into there like that set your camera and you can do two things now what I've done right here is I often run this with a separate battery 
it just the flight times are so short in these and that battery doesn't weigh much so I'll run that around and plug that in like that now that see the light come on here that battery is actually charging the camera right now so you don't have to worry about your battery running down now if you don't like that you can take that wire loose in here just take the red wire loose and it won't have to mess with it now if I not using the separate battery I can plug this into it and then what a lot of guys are doing is making a little hole in the door so they can run the balance port out and plug that in right there I'm not doing that right now I'm running a separate battery on it on this one now when I run my 450 quad I'm running it right off of the battery because I'm running a bigger battery it really doesn't draw much and uh, just saving a little bit of weight on that so it's just this simple guys uh, hook it up plug it in plug it in plug it in and you're ready to go um, no not mystifying but if nobody shows you first then it might be okay so I hope this helps let me know if it does